A body found behind a Central Arkansas high school could possibly be the missing link in missing a person's case report from out of state. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. Everyone, I'm Bob Clausen. Ashley has the evening off. Searcy police say the discovery was made by a student this afternoon in the woods behind Riverview High School. That's just off of Moore Street. Kirk for us, Tyler Thomason, joining us now live tonight outside that school. Tyler, what have you been able to gather throughout the evening? Hey, Bob. Yeah, good evening. We're coming to you live just from the east side of Riverview High School, not far from where Searcy police say they found the remains of a person uh, just in a wooded area right next to the high school. We're going to show you some video from earlier tonight. This is the area south of Riverview High School uh, along Moore Avenue where police say a student actually found those remains and then called police and police came out here and did an investigation. The call came in at about 345 this afternoon and that's about the time as you might imagine that school is getting out for the day. Right now what we know about those human remains that police say were found here, they've been sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab and Searcy police say that leads have come in, tips have come in to lead them to believe this possibly could be the remains of a person from out of state. That's something that they tell us they're following up on right now. Again, nothing is confirmed as to the identity of this person, but police do believe these remains have been here for several years. Again, it's in a wooded area just south of Riverview High School. If you're familiar with this area of Searcy, Moore Avenue kind of curves around the east and south side of Riverview High School, and that's where police say the, the, the discovery was made. Uh, we're going to continue to follow up on this, and right now, Searcy Police aren't giving us much more information than that. Again, we don't know who it is, who the remains are, uh, or exactly how long they've been there, but police believe they have been there for several years. We'll continue to follow this and bring you more as we get it. Live in Searcy tonight, Tyler Thomason, KARK4 News. Back to you. All right, Tyler, thanks very much. We did send out a news alert on this story this evening. If you'd like to get breaking news alerts like this, wherever you are, you can download the app for free today.